What's up guys, Andrew from Silver City Reef, and if you watched my last video, you would know that this video was coming. Uh, hopefully I get it out in the same day. I'm going to try real hard to edit them both out at the same time. Anyways, here is an update on the 40 breeder. Since the revamp video that I believe was the last video I posted, because I suck and have been really slacking on putting videos out. But honestly, um, I've just been super, super busy. And if you watch the other most recent video, you will see one of the things that I've been working on. Anyways, I'm going to try to get this out real quick before the lights go out. So there are some new coral in the tank. And this is actually extremely exciting for me um, I was getting real sick of looking at an empty tank so it's nice to actually see some color in it now so far it looks like everything is doing okay um, I did move some stuff from the frag tank into here like the blasto uh, that was my rainbow a can that completely turned like orange and blue I think once it hit the frag tank so I'm hoping some of that color comes back uh, my midnight princess which hasn't been looking too good but I'm hoping being in here will help turn it around the B issue really kind of screwed things up uh, that's a purple stylo and the torch was already still in here um, there is a marble eye flighties if you can kind of see it right down there oh and the GSP on the rock let me throw a lens on make it a little bit easier for you guys to see what's going on alright so um, because it's so blue it's real hard to try to cut it with lenses but hopefully you guys can see a little bit better yeah at least now I can actually see the GSP on the screen, um, there's the Midnight, no, there is the Marble Eye Favites in between the two, and that is the Midnight Princess Favites right there. Then you have the Purple Stylo on top, and the Green Torch in its usual spot on the side. I mean, it's nice to see everything open. Um, do have a good amount of algae going on though, which can't seem to figure out, but I will deal with it. Here is the Blasto that started off in the mini complete tank, went to the frag tank, and now has made its way into here. I'm not sure if that's going to stay there. Um, not sure if it likes the flow too much. Then you have the, well, what was supposed to be the rainbow A can, which looks like it's showing up all orange on the phone or the camera, but um, it's actually got some blue in it. It did lose a lot of its color though. Um, this is a dead forest fire digi, I think. Could have been a bubblegum digi, I'm not sure, but one of the two. Up top we have an ultimate, sun, ultimate Sunset Millie. It's just a small piece. I'm not sure what that is underneath it. Um, it had a couple of green polyps on it, so I took a chance and moved it over. Um, hopefully it starts doing okay. Then we have four different Cyphastrias. Um, not sure of all of the names. I think one, I think that's a Toxic Green or something like that. There's a, well, Meteor Shower. And I think one of them is a Bling Bling. And I can't remember what the last one is, but... Stupid glare from the windows making it rather difficult. 
but so everything is doing good. Um, still got a long ways to go. And I'm really hoping everything stays doing good. And I can keep making update videos. Um, the reason I got these was a friend of mine was shutting down his tank. So he was selling everything. Uh, he still has a few more um, pieces for me. Uh, I believe it's a Paletta pink tip and a tricolor uh, bonsai. And he also has a small little, uh, little, little, little crumb of PC Rainbow that he's going to kick in for me. Since somebody else bought the piece that he had. But I'm hoping if I just keep my hands out and stay on top of parameters, everything should be good. I mean, I have... Coraline growing like crazy in here, so, which wasn't before, I should say that. So I'm hoping that now that I've hit that point or that stage, that things should be doing pretty good. But I guess we will see what happens, and I mean, honestly, only time will tell. The torch hasn't really grown in months. I don't know if that's supposed to be a fast grower. I thought it was, but I'm off of my camera aim in here. But uh, yeah, I haven't noticed any difference in it and it's been like four months. So uh, I guess we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna try to keep this one short. So I will end it right here. As always, I want to Thank you guys for watching. Just remember, reefing ain't easy. But I will say, no matter what happens, just keep pushing forward. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but I was ready to break this tank down because I was absolutely sick of looking at an empty tank. Um, like, I love the fish, but I can put the fish in a smaller tank. And, you know, I don't need the sump and all this extra equipment. And, you know... $350 lights that money could be used for a different project so try one last time and I guess we'll see what happens so I will see you guys in the next one be sure to check out my Instagram if you want to stay up to date I also have some stuff on Teespring I'll put that link down below as always peace out guys